Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Such cool energy outside. It's interesting how we get influenced as well, hey, by our surrounding environments. I hope you can hear some of the thunder up here. Guys, let's come into a comfortable seat. You can crush your legs or come to a kneeling position. Could put play on your playlist. Make sure your mat is in this direction, so you like the lengthwise direction, so you can follow me nicely. And then just come to a seated position, close your eyes. And with the seasons changing, with the weather changing, obviously South Africa at the moment has a different season than Dubai. But while you sit there, I would like you to contemplate or reflect on external world and internal world and how the two worlds meet and have an influence on each other. Our external worlds are determined by the weather by our friends, our family, our jobs, our interactions, even the country you live in, the culture. And then you have your internal world, which has been created by even conditioning since you grew up. And those two worlds meet constantly. And it's also a conscious decision to spend more energy and effort sometimes to the outer world, to give a lot, to care for others, to maybe even care about what other people think about you. And just also finding your own truth within that world. I'm just going to let you sit there for another minute or so. And it's all about balance. Finding the right balance between your inner world, the outer world, and being aware that the two just simply communicate constantly. Place your palms together in front of the heart, acknowledging each other. Even though we are physically not together, we are practicing together, moving together, breathing together. Maybe you have an intention you want to set for this practice or a dedication to someone in need. And you can even dedicate the class to yourself. Let's bow our heads towards our fingertips to seal that in. And then come up if you're sitting on something, cross your legs in the opposite direction. And we'll start with big circular rolls of the upper body. So breathe in to come forward and breathe out to come back. Maybe even close your eyes, open the throat, open the heart, and really make the movements big as if you're going to fall forward when you come forward and around the spine. Nice. And then turn the circles in the other direction. Just notice your hips, your spine, your shoulders. Start to coordinate your movements with your breath. So an inhale to come forward and an exhale to come back. What is it what your body needs? What is it that your mind, your heart needs today? Do you want to take the more intense options or maybe today take a little bit of a softer practice that is totally up to you all right take a deep breath in when bring both arms above your head palms to touch interlace your fingers let the index fingers point up to the sky and then slice your hands all the way through the middle a little bit of pranayama inhale for four three two lift the arms 
Exhale, four, three. You can do this with your eyes closed. Slowly fill up the lungs for four, three, two. At the top, lift. Exhale, four, three, two. Two more rounds. Slowly breathe in. Let your body move with the length of the breath. Exhale. Soften your shoulders in the neck. One more round. Slow down the breath. Really reach up to the sky. Bring it back down. Exhale. When the hands meet the feet, roll over your shins. Come into a tabletop. Hands are under your shoulders. Knees are under your hips. Tuck your toes. Take a breath in. Take a cow stretch here. Kick to the right. Bring your chin close to the right armpit and press the left hand and the right knee away. Inhale, back to center. Kick to the left. Exhale, press the right hand. You can even lift your left hand. There's no weight in it. Diagonal line. Inhale, back to center. To the right side. Open up that right lung. Stretch and press yourself away. Inhale, symmetrical shape. Through the center, open the heart, lift the tailbone. Lovely. Other side. With the breath, inhale, back to center. Open the right side, exhale. Breathe in, last time. Over to the left, exhale. Come to the center and lift your right leg behind you. Really point the toes. Take a deep breath in. Knee to nose. Exhale. Lift the leg behind you. Breathe in. Knee to the right arm. Exhale. Pull the heel to the butter. Inhale. Three. Oh, there's not a three-legged dog. It's a mini three-legged dog. To the left arm. Exhale. Inhale. Lift the leg behind you. And now step the foot to the outside. Probably quite a big step. You might want to help the foot and then come into a little bit of a low runner's lunge. Take a deep breath in here, onto the fingertips, and then around the spine. Bring your chin to your chest. For me, that really translates into the left hip flexor. Bring your chin to the chest, around the spine. Take another deep breath in here. And a breath out. Lift your left knee, breathe in. Skandasana to your left foot. Exhale. Turn the left toes out and straighten the right leg. Use the left hand to the inside of the thigh. Your right fingertips can be on the floor. Really open up and resist. Take another deep breath in here. Let's take it easy. Just a warm up to the other side. So we're not pressing onto the knee. Press on the inside of the thigh. Really flex the left foot. Nice. One more time to the left side, take a deep breath in, look to the right foot, low lunge, exhale. Anjana Yasana, left knee down, arms come up to the sky, you can relax your left toes. And then come to a reverse namaskar, so bring the hands to touch behind you. You can either have the palms to touch or hold on to the opposite elbow. A little bit of different arm variations, nice. Lift the chest, take a deep breath in. Press the fingers to the space behind your heart to lift the heart for three, two, look up. Take another deep breath in and then slowly release. Arms come up to the sky. Inhale, tuck your back toes, pyramid pose, fingers down. Bring your hips back and then lift your chest. So you're trying to create a straight spine here. Rather than rounding the spine forward, let's try to lift the chest. Very nice. Keep the big toe, and the right big toe into the floor. Take another deep breath in here. Step forward, fold forward, ragged dog. Hold on to the opposite elbow. Shake a soft no with the head. Relax your neck and shoulders. Toe hook. So you bring your index finger and your middle finger around the toe and we'll move with the breath. You can have your knees bent here. Three times. Inhale, lift your chest as if you want to pull your feet off the floor. You resist navel in and then pull the crown.
crown softly down towards the floor, bend the elbows. Feel free to bend the knees two more times. Resist yourself, your own energy. Exhale, come back down. One more time, inhale. Exhale, come down, nose to shins, crown to floor. Release, halfway hips, breathe in. Step back, plank pose. Hands to the floor, feet to the back of your mat. Take a deep breath in. You can come to the knees here if you prefer and come all the way down to the belly. Interlace your hands at the base of the spine. Lift your chest. Maybe if you feel ready, lift your toes. Hold and breathe. As if somebody is holding onto your hands and bringing your hands further backward. Take another deep breath in here. Nose to the floor, hands to the floor. Lift your tummy, inhale, so you slide your knees a little forward, child's pose, all the way back. So vinyasa, any yoga, is non-competitive. The only person you can compete with is yourself, and it really doesn't serve you. So be kind, be gentle, allow yourself to just explore what is possible. No judgment and no attachment. It's just an exploration, an observation. Inhale, come to tabletop, hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips, left leg reaches behind you. Take a deep breath in here, round the spine and try to kiss your knee, exhale. Inhale, lengthen the leg, to the left arm, exhale, squeeze, inhale, lengthen, beautiful, to the right arm or elbow, exhale. Inhale, lengthen behind you. Can you step the foot next to your left hand? Come into fingertips so you're a little bit wider. Look forward and now round the spine. So you want to try to touch your chin, chin to your chest. And you want to press your fingers into the floor. Maybe even close your eyes. Take two more breaths there. Nice work. Come back, come into, uh, what did we do now? I lost it. Oh yeah, come back into your, no, uh-oh, uh -oh. I completely lost my thread of thought. Pyramid pose, Let's, it was a wide-legged pyramid pose. Excuse me, my brain was with the storm. <laughs> Hold and breathe, I'll catch up now. Three more breaths here. Right knee to the floor, arms up to the sky. Inhale, arms behind you. Reverse namaskar or hold on to the opposite elbow. Lift your chest, lift your gaze. Now also press your fingers here behind you. You're pressing them up against your spine so you can really lift and open the chest, but keep the neck well in. For three, two, release the arms, inhale, Hands to the floor, step forward, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Step back, plank pose, exhale. Chaturanga, you can choose toes or knees. Breathe in to prepare. Come all the way down or halfway down. Inhale, cobra pose or upward facing dog. This is your choice. We meet in our first downward facing dog. Index fingers parallel. Tailbone up to the sky, relax your neck and shoulders, three more breaths here. You've got choices all the time, so you can choose for stillness or movement. That's a conscious decision. Inhale, look forward, exhale, step or jump to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold forward, relax. Rise, high mountain, come all the way up to the sky, arms above your head, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms up to the sky, to the right side, have moon variation, left arm up, right arm down. Reach the fingers away from each other, tuck your tailbone, and navel is in. Inhale, back up to the sky, to the other side. Really reach in your imagination. Your left hand can touch the floor. Your right hand can touch the ceiling. Bring it back up. Inhale, 
Fold forward, exhale, relax your neck and shoulders. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Step your left foot to the back of your mat. And just once, look forward, inhale. Pyramid pose, draw it back, exhale. Come back into your low lunge, breathe in. Prasarita, walk your hands to the left side, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Walk both hands to your left foot and draw the nose closer to your shin. Relax your neck and shoulders and breathe. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Over and through to the other side, exhale. Hold for two rounds of breath. Inhale, halfway lift. Fold forward, toe heel, I mean heels in, toes out, star pose. Inhale, arms up to the sky. And then eagle your right arm under your left. Exhale. Sit nice and low, Kali. It means you take a deep breath in and then you kind of swing your body down. All the way back up and you can exhale quite strongly. One more time. Star pose, arms up to the sky. Look at your right foot, warrior two, exhale. Interlace your hands behind your back. Lift the chest, lift the heart. And this is called ostrich pose. Just watch that right knee. Your nose is going to come straight forward and across. So you are trying to move next to your, the left side of the mat. Rather than on the inside of the right knee, you're bowing straight forward. Just be careful with that right knee. Right hand down. Now you move the right shoulder to the inside of the right knee. Extended side angle. Left arm up to the sky, over your head. Your arm can also be on the thigh or on the inside of the thigh. Now twist, open the body. Look under the left armpit. Fabulous. Reverse warrior, right arm up to the sky. Wimble your hands back down, low lunge. Three-legged dog, right leg behind you. Breathe in, both feet down to the floor, downward facing dog. Inhale, plank pose, yogi's choice. Chaturanga, halfway or all the way. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. These are choices we need in downward facing dog. There is no, you should, there's no you have to's. This is a space to be feel safe and to just explore. Elbows, let's try dolphin pose. Elbows down to the floor. Now I'm quite pedantic about alignment. I know we can rush into things, but if you rush into things, you're not conscious, you're not mindful, and on the long term, you might have bad habits that will, that will injure you. So you want to have your elbows as wide as your shoulders. That's why we hold on to the opposite bicep, because that's a perfect measurement. What often happens is that the shoulder or the elbows go wider than the shoulders. Then you place your hands down to the floor. It's little rituals that will help you stay safe. So hold on to the biceps, then press the thumbs into the floor, lift your tailbone, start to walk your feet in, press your chest back. Walk your feet in, press your chest back. Nice, close your eyes, press your elbows away. So you're pressing the elbows into the floor. We'll get an opportunity, a second round here, if you want to play with pinchy. For now, just really open the armpits for three, two, Knees down to the floor, embryo pose. Hands to feet, pause and breathe. Take two more rounds of breath here. Know that you can come back here whenever you want. Arms come forward, table tuck, tuck your toes. Downward facing dog, full stretch. Inhale, bend your knees and look forward. Exhale, step or jump. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold forward, relax. High mountain, grow tall, arms above your head. 
big breath in. Samasthiti here, check your toes, stay together, feet are symmetrical. Inhale, arms up to the sky. To your right side, one hand down, one hand up, half moon. One breath, one movement. Inhale, back to center. Lovely work. Other side, keep your tailbone tucked. Inhale, high mountain, grow tall. Bend the knees, fold forward, relax your neck and shoulders. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Right foot steps to the back of your mat. Look forward, you can be on fingertips. One pyramid pose, draw it back. Back to lunge pose, inhale. Walk your hands over to the right. Prasarita, exhale. Left hand under your heart, right arm up to the sky, twist. If you want, you can bring your hands to the sacrum because there's a tendency for your hips to move to the right. So keep them level and then twist in the thoracic spine rather than the lower, lower back. Lovely. Take another deep breath in here. Change sides. You can have the hand flat on a block or on fingertips. Left hand to sacrum. Open up that left collarbone. Nice. Feel the resistance. Take another deep breath in there. Fold. Relax. Heels in. Toes out. Press into the feet. Inhale. Star pose. And ego your right arm on your left. Breathe in, there we go. Kali. Shh. Inhale all the way up. Shh. One more time. Breathe in. Shh. Star pose. Release. Inhale. Look at your left foot. Warrior two. Slice it open. Hold and breathe. Interlace the hands behind you. Lift the heart. Or stretch pose. So you bow straight forward and the shoulders go kind of parallel to the long edge of your mat. Relax your brain. Strong pressure into the feet. Nice. Big opening in the groin. Fabulous. Bring your left hand on the inside of the left foot, left shoulder on the inside of the left knee. Um, extended side angle. Choose your variation. That's why there's a million variations here. Arm up, overhead, hand down. That's totally up to you. Reverse warrior, left arm comes all the way over and across. Whipple your hands back down to the floor, flatten the palms. Three-legged dog, left leg up to the sky. Downward facing dog, exhale. Vinyasa flow, you can also skip these. If you're happy in down dog, stay in downward facing dog. Otherwise, inhale, plank pose. Cobra, um, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Second round of your dolphin, if you want to play with switch kicks. For me, switch kicks in any, let's say, handstands or dolphin are the best way, but the biggest tip I can give you is to forget about having to hold the balance. The switch kicks are about just finding your center line. So let's come into dolphin pose, take the same steps, hold on to the biceps, place the palms down and now press on the inside of the thumb. Press it in because the energy wants to drop out to the side. Walk your toes in and then press your chest back. Stay here or lift one leg and then out. you can do it really low. You can kick one up and change. Kick one up and change. Maybe you kick a little higher and change and change. Don't even think about pinching. Trying to keep your hips level. Focus your eyes. Take another six, five, four. Feel your hips. Stay as stable as possible. Not a lot of dancing. I call it dancing. Not a lot of twisting in the hips. Three, two, embryo pose. Whatever you did, amazing. Hands to feet. Take three rounds of breath in. Feel your heart rate. Shifting energy in the body. The biggest gift you can give yourself in vinyasa is to let go of having to do the shapes. 
is to focus on the energy and the things you feel and even the frustration you might feel. It's part of that. That's the interesting thing. When you start to focus on energy rather than goals of having to do certain poses. Let go of that. Once you let go of that, you can start to really just enjoy and it all becomes playful. All right, come into tabletop, hands to the top of your mat, tuck your toes, downward facing dog, full stretch. Let's reset here and take three breaths. Feel free to close your eyes. Notice what you notice. Notice the breath, bring your Ujjayi breath back into your shape. Inhale, bend your knees and look forward. Exhale, step or jump to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold forward. Rise, high mountain, arms sweep up above your head. Hands to heart center, exhale. Chair pose, Utkatasana. Bring the palms in front of the heart and now twist to your right side. So your elbow is on the outside of the thigh. Then bring your bum a little bit lower and the heart a little bit higher. Nice, for three. Now slowly, two, bring the weight to your right foot. Start to bring your left heel to your left buttock. Hold, maybe you extend the leg behind you. Nice. Take one more deep breath in. Let's all step into a low lunge. Exhale. Look forward, breathe in. Pyramid pose, breathe out. Low lunge, come back forward. Take a deep breath in. Walk your hands over to the left side. Prasarita. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. You have an opportunity here to do an inversion, but we are all inverted. A headstand, a tripod headstand, a handstand, or you stay here. There is just different options. It's like when you're in a restaurant and you decide what you, what you, what you want to eat and drink. One is not better than the other. One might be more healthy than the other, but play around a little bit or just hang out. Yeah, looking good. Squeeze those elbows towards each other, Wessel. Yeah, yeah, much better. Lovely, Sarah. That's nice, Bernadette. Good sounds. I like your pants, Karina. <laughs> if your feet are up in the air, slowly bring them down with control. We meet in a wide-legged forward fold. Turn the heels in and the toes out. Inhale, arms up to the sky, star pose. Come into a horse, sit down, bring the hands to heart and then lift both heels. It is easier to walk your feet a little closer to each other. I find it a little bit easier. Little pulses, six. Ooh, I can still feel that from Monday sculpt. Five, four, three, two. Heels down, arms up. Take a deep breath in to the right foot, warrior two. Turn the toes out, open the arms. Interlace your hands behind you, lift your heart. Take a deep breath in. Ostrich pose, bow all the way forward. Now if you want a little bit more, you can even release your left hand, place it in front of your left foot and place the right hand on the inside of the right side. And then you press the knee, be gentle with the right knee, really open up, open up, open up. Take one more deep breath in, bring your right hand on the inside of the right foot or the right elbow on the thigh, extended side angle. An opportunity here for a half bite, so the left hand can come behind you, hold on to the t-shirt, hold on to the inside. Or maybe come to a full bind. Then you drop the right elbow on the inside of the knee. The right arm comes underneath. And then hold on to the left wrist. And then pull your upper body away from the thigh. Rather than hanging into the thigh, pull away from the thigh. As if you want to lift that right foot up. Yeah, that makes it strong. Open the left collarbone. I know. I know. Release. Reverse warrior, take a deep breath in, half moon, right hand down to the floor or onto a block. 
Girls, if you're quite new, girls and boys, if you're quite new to yoga initially, and I still practice with a block sometimes, working with a block can really help. Just make it interesting for yourself. Yes, press the block into the floor, reach the left fingers up, reach the left toes behind you for three, two, Shiva squat, the left knee hooks behind the right. Drag and twist, left toes to the floor, elbow to the outside of the right thigh, hold and breathe. Nice work. If you want to do a quick side crow, you've got time here. Take another four rounds of breath. Inhale, single leg to dasana, left knee up in towards your chest, dancers pose. You can hold on to the inside of the left foot, stand on the right foot and dance for yourself. Dance for yourself, kick the foot back. Let's go for 30 seconds. This is, this is a challenging pose, so focus your eyes on a fixed point. Looking good. Draw that right hip back down. Left hip back down. Sorry, you're standing on the right leg. Yeah, good. That's it, Bernadette. Focus your eyes. Focus your eyes. Keep your fingers active. Take a deep exhale. And when things don't go according to what you want, it's okay. It's just a practice for three, two. So my city here, hands in front of the heart. Take a moment. Now be kind, have kind thoughts, because kind thoughts lead to kind word, words and leads to kind actions. Fabulous. Inhale, arms up to the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Chair pose, Utkatasana, sweep the floor, bring the arms up, hands to heart center. Lift the heart towards the thumbs, twist to your left side this time. Bump a little bit lower, heart a little bit higher. Twist yourself away, stimulate your digestion. Now bring the weight to your left foot, start to lift the right heel up. Balance, balance, balance. Maybe, maybe, maybe kick the leg out. Maybe not, it's all a play. For three, two, Fingers down, foot down, low lunge, look forward, inhale, a big pyramid pose, exhale. Come forward, low lunge, breathe in, walk your hands over to the right, exhale. Wide legged down dog, so first, walk your hands all the way forward, 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 as if you're going to fall on your face. So you are in a wide legged. Walk your hands forward, Sarah, more, more if you've got space. How far can you walk your hands forward without falling on your face? Keep your feet grounded and then press your chest back. Oh, I love this shape. I don't know why. It's such a nice grounded opening in the arms. All right. Inhale, walk your hands under your shoulders. Now keep walking your hands, turn the fingers to the other side. I'm now trying to walk my fingers all the way to the wall. Other side, try to creep under your own body. Try to, to use your legs as a tunnel. Try, yes, good. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen, hands under your shoulders, fold forward, heels in, toes up, rise. Star pose, come all the way up to the sky. Sit down in horse, hands to heart center. Fabulous. Heels lift, little pulses. Ten. Open the groin. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Heels down, arms up. Big breath in. Look at the left foot. Warrior two. Exhale. Interlace your hands behind you. Open the chest. Ostrich pose, come all the way forward. Stay here or drop the hands, bring the hands in, but they have a task. So the right hand resists the floor, the left hand softly resists the leg.
legs. Maybe that helps you to bring your head closer to the floor for three. Breathe for two. Walk your hands to the left foot. Elbow on thigh or hand on the inside. Extended side angle. Half bind, full bind. Have some fun. See where the body can go today. No judgment, no attachment, no expectations. Just trying things out. The first time my teacher, which was after eight years of yoga, I was like, oh really? Told me, you're not hanging out here on the leg. You're actually pulling yourself. So I'm trying to pull myself up and away from the thigh. So not here, but I'm trying to almost lift that leg. It becomes so much stronger, strong on, the, strong on those legs though. So rather than just holding, I feel a lot of resistance here with the arm and the leg. Ooh. All right, let's move. Inhale, reverse warrior, left arm up to the sky, half moon, left hand down, use a block under your left hand, Open up, take your time. You might balance poses take time. Balance, balance poses take time. Don't have a block, I was trying to use this. Yes, keep your right fingers and your right toes active, 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 active. For three, lift up, open up, reach up. Two, make yourself big and large and expand. Exhale, Shiva squat. Twisted dragon. So bring your elbow to the outside. Hold and breathe. Maybe a side crow. Keep your eyes focused. Open up, open up, open up. Nice. Inhale. Lift the right knee up. Already find your balance. Dancers pose. Right hand into the chest. Right hand into the Got my words, my, my mind is as stormy as the weather. Happens to everybody. Your right foot into your right hand. Yes. Good. That's it. One side might be easier than the other. Reach and kick and reach and kick. Oh, this could be an Instagram picture. For three. Lovely. Go to the edge. Why not? Two. The worst thing that has happened will happen is that you lose your balance. And so my city he <sighs> inhale arms up to the sky big breath in fold forward let's iron out our spine inhale halfway lift lengthen chaturanga you can step straight to down dog on the knees on the toes inhale cobra or upward facing dog. We meet in downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in, bend your knees, come to a seated position. We're not done yet, just a quick, quick set of core. So come lie down on your back, lift your legs up to the sky, and then we twist, bicycle sit-ups. Just 30 seconds, opposite armpit, Opposite knee, your legs can also be extended. Lift your shoulder blades off the floor. <sighs> Breathe. Nice. Shh. 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 Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, lovely, three, two, one, feet, hands reach to feet, up, lift both shoulder blades up to the floor and start moving from that point. So start with the lifted shoulder blades, little pulses, Shh. 10, 9, 8, high, 7, keep your feet still, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Knees open, toes together, arms come over your head. Take a deep breath in. Shoot your little gun underneath your heels, lift and back up. If you want more, you bring your gun under your heels, but then when you reach your arms up, extend the legs. You don't have to do that. You can also just keep your knees floating on the floor. Option one, upper body moves. Option
Option two, upper body moves and then open up, extend the toes. Good work. 30 seconds. That's it. You know your body better than anybody else. Or this is at least also an opportunity to get to know your body. Where does the body struggle? Where is the body strong? Where are the moments of improvement? Keep moving. 15 seconds. Awesome work. Shh. Lift up. Breathe. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two. Knees into the chest. Rock and roll a little from right to left. Bhadakonasana, butterfly legs. Soles of the feet to touch. Take a moment, pause. Bridge or wheel pose. Actually, three options. Supported bridge, bridge or wheel. We've got a minute. So if you want supported bridge, a block comes in. Bring the block under your buttocks. Under your buttock. Or you can lift. No supported bridge, a normal bridge. I like to walk the meaty part of my arms under the body. Keep your eyes closed. If you feel like a full wheel, hands come next to your ears and then lift all the way up from there. They're all fine. One is not better than the other. They're all back bends. They're all opening of the hearts. Take another 30 seconds here. Breathe. Lovely Sarah, awesome. That's it, Vessel. Nice Bernadette. Our Emirates girls, fabulous. Take one more deep breath in. If you are in supported bridge, remove whatever you're sitting on or lying on. Knees knock in towards each other. And again, just take a moment of reflection, of rebound. Notice the beating of your heart after that back bend. Windshield your knees from right to left, left to right. Last bit of standing, guys. Rock and roll forward and back, forward and back. We'll meet in downward facing dog. You can flow through a full vinyasa or step straight back. This is your party, this is your life, this is your practice. As long as you're breathing and you're smiling, it's Yoga, yes. Nice, very good, lovely movements. Right leg lifts, three leg dog, breathe in. Step forward, warrior one. Left foot a little out into the side, ground. Arms up to the sky, take a deep breath in. Reverse namaskar, or hold on to the opposite elbow behind your chest. Let the fingers lift the heart and open the collarbones. Nice. Take a deep breath in there. Lift another heart, a little bit with the heart for two. Release the arms up. Inhale there. Left arm under the right. Exhale. Lift your chest. Humble warrior, stay here. Or maybe with your eagle arms, lift your left leg. It helps to press the right knee against the right arm, maybe even at the fingertips of your ego arm on the floor. Fabulous. Not so easy when the arms are interlaced. I know. All right, let's step back. Arms come up, warrior one, ego arms, full ego, left leg over. Hold and, hold and squeeze. For three, two, release, single leg Tadasana, breathe in, low flying warrior, left leg behind you, 
Bend the right knee. Bend the right knee. Float your body. Good. For three, two, low lunge. Look forward. Inhale. Step forward. Fold forward. Exhale. Utkatasana. Inhale. Hands to heart center. Exhale. Twist over to your right side. Different people, different options. You can open the arms to fly. You can come into a side crow if you prefer to lift the feet and play with that. You've got around four to five rounds of rest there. Good, Bernadette. That's it. Awesome. Keep your eyes focused. Keep breathing. Where did you fly to, Sam? Fabulous. <laughs> All right, let's meet back in Utkatasana. Arms come up, the legs are getting a little tired. Twist to the other side. Exhale. Yeah, hold and breathe. We're working here in creating space in the spine. You're stimulating your digestion. Keep your eyes nice and focused. Maybe a side crow, go ahead. Have fun, some play time, or fly the arms open as if you want to hug somebody. Yogis, you're beautiful. Amazing. For three, two, hands up, high mountain, all the way up. Fold forward, exhale, relax your neck and shoulders. Inhale, halfway lift. Chaturanga, step, jump, float, top of the mat. Bend the elbows, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Last little bit, left leg up to the sky. Deep breath in, step forward, warrior one feet. Step the right foot a little out, 45 degrees. Arms come up to the sky. Let's come to the back bend, reverse namaskar or Hold on to the opposite elbow. Take some time here. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Remember that song. And then lift your heart. Open the collarbones. Keep the chest broad. Start to lift the gaze. Bend your left knee a little more. Maybe even slide a little bit more forward. For three, Woo. two. Release the hands. Arms come up to the sky. Right arm eagles under the left. Reach up, breathe in, humble forward, stay, or try to lift your right leg up to the sky. Pressing your eagle arms against your left leg, so they are kind of resisting each other, helps you find your balance here. It's kind of claustrophobic to balance with your arms interlaced, so I find it a bit claustrophobic because the falling will you know, it's like I'm going to fall. What am I doing in my arms? Maybe it's that. All right, let's slowly step back. Arms up. Nice landing. Warrior one. Full eagle. Right leg hugs over the left. Hold and breathe. Soften the gaze. Amazing job. Shoulders away from the ears, lift the elbows, hands away from the face. Good, sink a little deeper and then explode. Single leg to dasana, like the ballerina, low flying warrior, hands to heart, move slowly, bend the knee, extend the leg for three, two, all the way to low lunge, look forward, inhale, step forward, Fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Step back, plank pose. Exhale. Hold your plank pose here. Take a deep breath in. Knees to the floor. Camel pose. Not my favorite. Not my favorite, but it probably means I need it. Camel pose. If for some reason you don't want to do camel pose, do another supported bridge or a bridge or a wheel. I prefer to tuck my toes. Makes it a little easier to reach the heels. Squeeze the knees in. You can even place a block in between the thighs. Just make sure the energy goes inwards. The legs are rotating in. So it's not an external rotation, it's an internal rotation. 
as if somebody is punching you in the tummy. In, in, wrap it in, and then start to bring your hands to your pockets. Lift the thigh, lift the heart, maybe stay here. That's fine. Open up, squeeze the shoulders behind you. It's easier with the toes tucked because the heels are closer. The biggest thing here is that we're not leaning onto the heels. We're actually trying to lift away from the heels. So even if your fingers are touching the heels, try to lift away as if you're lifting up, as if somebody's grabbing your heart and you want to lift up to the sky. Yes, big heart opener. I'm trying to avoid it by explaining stuff to you. <laughs> Good, another four, three, ooh la 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 la, two, hands back to pockets. Move symmetrically, point your toes, sit down, close your eyes. Whew. Feel, just feel, feel whatever you're feeling. Kind thoughts, kind words, kind actions. Train your mind to be kind. Start with being kind to yourself, and then you can be kind to others. And it's a snowball effect. <laughs> Round number two. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> I'm sure you're all like, yes! Aren't you? Yes! <laughs> no, we're not. Maybe we are. Some people love this shape. All right, same variation. First, feel the rotating in. In, in, in. Hug it in. It's not an open, it, it isn't a hard opener, but the energy is, is inwards. It's still all very contained. Yes. If you feel that you've got a lot of space, you can start to point your toes. But again, lift your heart up. Press the shins into the floor. Ooh, some people like to drop their heads. Not my thing. I immediately feel it's not my thing. I don't know why. I can't explain it. For five. Breathe, smile. Four. Three. Smile. Two. Hands to pockets, symmetrical movements, breathe in. Oh la 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 la, breathe out, sit still. All right, rabbit pose, counter pose from B crunk. So you can hold onto the heels. Be gentle with your neck. There's not a lot, it's not a lot of pressure onto the head. You can actually just, you can even do it above the head. Hold onto the heels. Try to bring your eyebrows in touch with your knees and then start to lift. Maybe you move your head a little forward or you try to move the head closer. Be gentle with the neck. Feel, feel, feel. Pull the navel in for three. Hold on to those heels. Two. Woo. All right. Make sure you're warm. Bring your heels next to your, or your buttocks next to your heels. And then come into a seated figure four with your left ankle onto the right thigh. Now, we're all different. So some of you are happy here. Some of you might have space to slide that right foot a little closer onto the fingertips and then open up the collarbones. Good. Oh la 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 la. Speaking about the external influencing the internal even your mind can be a little bit stormy like my mind was a bit stormy today <laughs> just be aware of it it's okay all right release half cow so bring the knee on top leg such i'll mirror you good if you want full cow you can bring the other but make sure that both sit bones are equally onto the floor. You can even lean a little forward. Half cow is fine. 
and then come all the way forward, relax. How much time do we spend worrying or putting energy in the outer world? Because all of that needs to be processed into the inner world. News, the future, what other people think. Maybe sometimes it's worth investing the time in yourself and then you know I stand for this and whatever, whatever other people think, whew, their business, but okay. <laughs> okay, other side, sit back up, right ankle on top of the left thigh. Notice where you want to place your left foot. You'll feel it. Keep that right foot quite active. Did you hear that? Or not? No? The thunder? Cheese. It's right above our hearts. <laughs> Next time I'll put a microphone on so it's pretty cool that energy, hey? Quite unique. Stormy weather, calm weather, stormy energy, calm energy. It's in us as well. Take another deep breath in, half cow, slide that knee across. Maybe full cow. Come all the way forward. Oh, relax your neck and shoulders. Great practice, guys. Some of you are quite used to the vinyasa and the power classes. Some of you are relatively new. This is this is quite an intermediate class, huh? So give yourself a break if you feel that it's quite challenging. I like to challenge you, it's an all level class, you can always take options. But yes, I like to challenge you. I'd rather hear it was challenging than that it was not challenging or boring or something like that, you know? Okay, now slowly roll up. Make sure you're warm, maybe put on some clothing. We're approaching our beautiful Shavasana soon. Come lie on your back, rock and roll a little from right to left. Eagle your right leg over your left, maybe even interlace the toes behind the heel, left legs to the left. Spinal twist. it slowly come back to center change your eagle left leg bring the knees over to the right Ugh. when I do a spinal twist it's one of those shapes where I'm surprised how asymmetrical my body is how my body it looks symmetrical from the outside but there's actually the one twist feels so much more spacious and so much easier. The one side I can easily have both shoulder blades on the floor. The other side feels like, whoa, what a difference. And that's okay, it's just an awareness. Bring the knees back to center. Last pose, choose legs of the wall or if shoulder stance or plow pose is in your practice, you can add that on. Hands can be behind your back or your hands can come to your toes. Take five rounds of breath here. Leg of the wall energetically is a very similar pose. It's an inversion.
And then slowly, slowly start to make your way into a Shavasana that feels good to you. I'll be your timekeeper. We're running a little bit late, so if you have to go for some reason, don't feel you can't. But Shavasana is very important in the practice. The blankies, make it comfortable for yourself. Maybe even switch off the lights or put something over your eyes. And make it really nice so you can totally relax and let go. And in yoga, we often speak about letting go. In the psychological world, it's also known that if you can let go of interruptions, life becomes lighter. So if you can see Shavasana as a practice of letting go, it actually becomes very meaningful. And it can even also feel quite uncomfortable sometimes. And it's often at that point where you're like, okay, I've had enough now. Let me move or fiddle or find something to do that your body will let go. But it's often, often at that point where we kind of give up or we feel a bit uncomfortable in it. So I'm going to give you another three minutes and I'll let you know. If you want to stay longer, it's very beneficial. Please, please give yourself a longer shavasana.
really comfortable place. Just stay. There's no need to rush. If you are ready to, you know, that's again that the vision between your inner world and the outer world. Shavasana is, is really about your inner world. And then you move slowly back into the outer world when you step off your mat. So if you're not ready for that yet, you want to stay into a meditative state, stay in Shavasana or just sit up and meditate for a bit. Keep your energy to yourself. Otherwise, start to make small little movements with your fingers and your toes. The time, the quality time with yourself is so important. But there is a beautiful outer world there, friends, family, pets. So if you're ready to start sharing your energy again in that way, stretch your arms overhead. And really lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. And then maybe a big hug, but a loving hug. Hug your knees into your chest and say in your own mind something kind to and about yourself. And then roll to the side. And when you're on your side, just pause for a moment. And a conscious decision to sit up. And we're back where we started in our seated position. There's no thoughts, there's no emotions on this mat that are not allowed. It is a journey of exploring yourself, your inner world, so you can better yourself, you can get to know yourself better, and then be an authentic, authentic and the most extraordinary version of yourself. Bring the palms together again, acknowledging each other, from Dubai to South Africa. <laughs> Such a pleasure to share this time with you. Stay warm, stay safe. Namaste. Thank you guys.